Your lashes look great. So yeah, mommy, you're gonna be back home at six, right? <sighs> That's the plan. Maybe a little after or a little before. Okay, but before will be even better so then that way we can hang out. Well, hopefully I'm not too tired. And if I am, we can hang out over the weekend. Well, if you get home early, then you won't be too tired. Again, Coco, I'm not sure what time I'll be home, so we just have to wait and see. Oh, well, everyone's gone, so who's gonna watch little old me? Well, we have a new babysitter, and I believe she is the perfect fit. Really? Who? Somebody wants to babysit me? Nobody ever wants to babysit me for some strange reason. Well, she doesn't quite know you just yet, which allows you to start with a clean background. Well, to be honest, all the other babysitters, they just didn't understand me. Is that right? Yes. Tape is Nori, for example. She was too concerned about her wig to really give me a chance. Hey. You I'm just about ready. Yeah, thank you so much for being able to come last minute. I'm really happy my cousin was able to recommend you. Okay, no problem. I look forward to meeting you and your children. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Okay, thanks. Girls! Yes, Mom? I was able to get a babysitter, so please be good and listen to her. Coco. I don't want to hear that you did anything that you're not supposed to. I'm not, but these two... No, Coco, I'm talking to you. Okay, okay, she's here. Hey, hey, come on in. Hey. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. You know what, you actually look familiar. Yes, I, I bet I do. I met you and your daughter a few weeks ago when she ate my sandwich. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry about that. I told you I'd see you soon. You still hungry? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on in. Uh, these are my daughters, Aria and Rhea, and you already know Coco. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think this is a good idea. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I promise Coco is going to be on her best behavior. Um, I'll see you guys later. There's food in the fridge. They already took their best. Okay, bye. Uh -oh. Okay, let's, let's go watch a movie. Whatever you all would like. How about creepy crawlers take over the universe? <laughs> no, no scary movies. You know they're gonna give you nightmares. No, it's not. Miss Nori, do you like scary movies? No, not not really. I'm so happy you're here. What? Oh my God! Come <laughs> on! Ooh, it feels like a puppy. Well, it's not. <laughs> For bed. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Nori, but just to let you know, your your puppy hat is a little sideways. Hey, I'm back. Uh, how did everything go? How does it look like everything went? It's falling off. <laughs> oh. So I'll, I'll call you next week. Uh -uh, do not call me. I told you, this is exactly why I don't like other people's kids. Bye. Bye, Miss Nori. You literally threw that lady's wig around and called it a puppy. Coco, take accountability. You will not be blaming other people for your actions. You know what? I guess you are right. Sorry, Miss Nori, wherever you are. Oh, and here she is now. She's a friend of the family and a lot of people use her services, so I'm sure you're in good hands. Okay, but don't forget 6 p.m. I'll try, Coco, but I can't make any promises. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Yes, Tara, come right in. Uh, hi, ma'am. Oh, she is so sweet. You can call me Tara. Uh, how about T? <laughs> that works too. Well, thank you so much for getting here on time. That definitely is a great first impression. Come on, let me show you around. Okay, uh, let me just take my shoes off and no problem at all. I promise to make that a regular thing. Uh, I mean, she seems nice and she smells good, like uh, uh, fresh socks out the laundry. Maybe she won't be that bad. Let's give her a chance. And that's pretty much it. Coco's food is in the fridge, but feel free to help yourself to whatever you like. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Streaky. Oh, please, call me Ava. All righty, Coco, so we're going to be on our best behavior, right? Yes, ma'am. Tara, if she's not, just beat her. <laughs> I'm just playing. 
Please don't beat my child. She'll be fine. I'll see you all later. Bye, Mama. Bye. All right, Coco. So tell me, what do you like to do? Um, uh, I, I like to read, eat a lot, and I like hanging out with Mama. She's my best friend. That's so sweet. It's pretty cool that you're so close to your mom. Are you close to your mama? Actually, no, I'm not, but I wish I was. Um, but she passed away when I was three and I don't really remember much about her. Oh, I I'm sorry to hear that. That must be really hard. Yeah, um, it is, especially on holidays like Mother's Day, when I see people posting pictures and hugging their moms and giving gifts, and I know I can never do that, but I know she's in my heart. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did somebody cut some onions? <laughs> uh, I, I don't believe so, but Coco, are you okay? <laughs> yes, but it just really hurts to think about life without mama, and it really hurts my heart that you no longer have yours. Uh, I know, Coco. Calm down. Calm down. Death is a part of life, and it's a hard subject but we're not supposed to live forever. The best thing that we can do for the people that we love is to keep going and be our best selves, which is what they would want us to be. You're right. All right, now what do you say, excuse me, that we watch some movies? Now that sounds like a plan. rest i'm gonna take my tracking device out too so that i can get some rest because my nose is starting to hurt okay but all right i'll see you later night night Up. I'm so sorry for this. Uh, no, actually, um, Ava, it's not that. Okay, well, is everything okay? Um, uh, I really hope so, but uh, Coco and I, we were watching movies, we were having a good time, and then um, I, I must have fallen asleep, and when I woke up, um, she, she's nowhere to be found. What? Did you check everywhere? Yes, I did. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, one second. Let me check her tracking device. It says she's on the couch. Uh, um, it looks like she took off her device and that's the only thing left on the couch. What? Okay, I'm on my way and I'll contact the police. Mrs. Streety, I'm really sorry. Nothing like this has ever happened. You know, Coco and I, we were having a good time and we were really bonding. Tara, at this point, I just want to find my child. Uh, understood, ma'am. I'll keep looking too. need her to be okay. And what is taking the police so long? Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Tara, did you check the closet? Coco sometimes goes in there. I believe I did miss you, but I may have missed one. Coco, oh my goodness, are you okay? Why are you in here again? Uh -huh. Hi, mama. Hi, T. I, I was sleeping. Why did you take out your tracking device? It was hurting my nose, so I took it out for a little break. Coco, please tell someone when you're going to take it out. You had us so worried. I I'm sorry. T was sleeping, and I didn't want to wake her. 
I understand. But you almost got Tara fired and gave me a heart attack. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Um, but Mama, can we please keep Tara? She actually was a lot of fun. What? Coco likes the babysitter? Uh, I mean, she's cool so far. But it would be even cooler if she knows how to bake cookies. Do you? Um, I could learn. Mm, on second thought, Mama, we could probably replace her. Coco! I'm just playing. Well, kind of. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. And that's pretty much it. Coco's food is in the fridge, but feel free to help yourself to whatever you want. <laughs>